I want to be a bell too. Or, you know, a necklace that would probably suit me better. Um, anyway, I have some news for you guys. We're going to have a brand new contest launching this week for five more Grunty the Murloc Space Marine pets. So if you weren't one of last week's lucky winners, here's another chance to get your hands on one. Also, Tanksba.com has been completely redesigned and looks even more awesome than before now. Thirdly, Ciderhelm and Lore got a chance to interview the lead producer and the lead world designer of World of Warcraft. The very interesting interview is up in the news section of Tankspot.com, so go check it out. And lastly, Spiritus, another Tankspot author, has written pre-encounter guides for Mergar and Death, Death Whisper that you should check out to get a head start on Ice Crown Citadel. You can find all of those links in the movie information box that should be over there. So, I dug through your comments and I actually managed to find some interesting uh, questions and requests that I am meant to answer. Ein paar von euch meinten, dass ich die nächste Folge doch in Deutsch reden sollte, also habe ich mir gedacht, warum nicht? Projekt Murmeltier machen wir diese Woche also, zumindest teilweise. Night so hat gefragt, was ich von Heilmetern halte und wie ich bzw. meine Gilde damit äh, Heilperformance bewerten. Ich persönlich finde Heilmeter eine tolle Sache. Aber man muss sie auch zu lesen und zu interpretieren wissen. Zum Beispiel muss die Rolle eines jeden Heilers mit einbezogen werden, die, die Art des Kampfes und damit einhergehen, welche Zauber welcher Klasse in diesem Kampf am nützlichsten sind und wie der Heiler sich mit anderen Heilern der gleichen Klasse vergleichen lässt. Einfach auf einen Heilmeter zu schauen und zu sagen, boah, der hat den ersten oder halt eben den letzten Platz gekriegt, das äh, geht also nicht. Aber wenn nun ein White passiert und ein Heiligpriester zum Beispiel in einem Fight äh, wie Zwillingsvalkyrie hauptsächlich Blitzheilung benutzt, dann ist das schon was im Argen. Ähm, dann ist öfters der Wunsch nach einem Best in Slot, Holy und Disc Gear Guide gekommen. Da werde ich mich bald drum kümmern, wahrscheinlich diese Woche, also öfter mal Tankspots Heilungsforum besuchen. Back to English, because I'm probably tired of subtitling everything at this point and I'm really bad at German WoW terminology. Alpha Prox asked if I could give a look at how my computer desk is set up, so, uh, sure, here you go, Alpha Prox. That would be my computer desk, uh, PSP, camera, screen, laptop, various things, and my PC is down here, nothing special at all, I'm afraid, but I never claimed to have a very interesting computer set up now, did I? Alright, now, Colossal Dominion 79 asked if I like Rammstein. I do, I actually like a lot of rock and metal, those are my favorite genres as far as music is concerned. Uh, he also asked if I'll be at BlizzCon this year, and the answer to that is that yes, there is a good chance that I might be. Um, Ulol asked what I consider a decent amount of HPS on each of the 10 men TOC encounters. I'm sorry Ulol, for that there's no real answer I'm afraid. This greatly depends on how many healers you bring, which classes you bring, and how long the encounter lasts. For the heroic 10 minutes, I personally sit at around 3k HPS for beasts, 2k for Jaraxxus, 1.5k for faction champs because I dispel a lot, uh, 4 to 5k on twin Valkyries, and I think 2.4k or something like that on a nub. But that's nothing but personal experience with my healing team. We, for example, bring 3 healers, so if you bring 2, it's gonna look completely different again. Uh, also, he asked what loot distribution system my guild uses, and that would be EQDKP. Archlord Destin asked if I find Warlock's life tapping to be difficult to heal. Uh, the answer to that is no, I love life tapping Warlocks. Uh, it gives me something to do. Just don't be silly and, you know, life tap when you're near death or when you know you have a big chunk of damage incoming. 
just use common sense and it's perfectly fine to live tap. Um, DJ, that's the name. Ask my opinion on Disc Priest versus Holy Paladin main tank healing. I'm not entirely sure what you mean by that, but I think that both classes uh, do an excellent job at main tank healing when played correctly. And they're both together make an excellent main healing team. I would not choose one class over the other. They're both really different with a lot of different abilities and strengths and weaknesses. So I think they're both great, yeah. Um, that's also the questions. Now, I would like to mention that I wrote a Power Auras guide that is available to read at Tankspot's user interface forum and explains how to set up buffs, uh, debuffs, and other procs and effects. I will also go over some of the Power Auras features right now to make it more descriptive, but for the extensive guide, go have a look at the forums. Um, now, a little description of Power Auras. Power Auras is a way to keep track of particular buffs or debuffs or events you may otherwise have a hard time seeing or realizing they're going on. With PA, any buff, debuff, proc, missing buff, health or mana threshold, AoE you're standing in, cooldown, combo points, rage, energy, runic power, uh, aggro or spell being cast on you can be tracked and be made visible anywhere on your screen through an icon that you pick and customize. That's pretty neat, huh? Um, now if you're sufficiently intrigued, I'll work you through some of the basic setups of power auras based on my priest settings. Alright, so to start power auras, you type slash power in game and it'll pop up this window. Here you just simply click on new and it'll pop up another window that may look a little overwhelming at first but it is actually fairly easy. Um, let's set up something random. Let's say uh, you want to make um, an effect for Guardian Spirit when Guardian Spirit is on you. You want to be alerted. So you enter the name of the buff, since it is a buff. You can select the type of um, what effect you want to add right there. Anyway, it's a buff, so we're leaving it at that. Everything here is okay. You can choose to only have uh, the effect show when you're in combat or in a raid or on friendly or unfriendly targets or anything like that. Um, now that we have that, we want to make a texture that we like so you know pick anything you like that you can relate to the effect somehow um, you can also choose a color for example or you can just choose to use the buffs own texture which is down here use own texture which will just pop up the um, actual icon of the effect. But I do like fancy things, so I'm going with this. And I can adjust the size right here and the position wherever I want it to pop up. So uh, let's say right here. How cute. Okay, now I can choose to make this an animation if I wanted to. Uh, that's just stuff you kind of play around with, you know, if you, if you absolutely want something like that, you can add a sound effect to, or a timer. Timers are very useful, I find. Um, so I know what duration is left. Um, Alright, now we have all of this set up. So we're all done here. We're exiting the menu, and now every time I will have Guardian Spirit cast on me, I will have this show up. See, that's the timer with the duration. Uh, this works for buffs, debuffs, as I said, pretty much anything. You can have various effects. For instance, I have something said that when I'm in a raid and I'm missing inner fire, it'll alert me that I need to put up inner fire or um, what else do I have? 
I have something for bloodlust, for low health. Let's see, for Surge of Light, you will probably have seen that in movies. See the little cross up there is my three stack serendipity and stuff like that. So it is very useful for pretty much any class, not just healers, not just priests. You just have to get uh, kind of creative with setting it up, but it is an amazing add-on and you can customize it to whatever you like. So as always, I hope you enjoyed this week's episode and uh, also as always, feel free to ask questions or add suggestions either on YouTube or on the thread on tanksplot.com. Also, Tanksplot donors can download all of these movies in high definition directly from our servers, so if you'd like to learn more about that, just click the second link in the movie information box.